back there. These guys are gonna regret they ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? Ah. Aruga. I'm reloading! Come on, come on! We can't let him get away! They think you're gonna get away, huh? They ain't seen you drive like I have! Son of a bitch just wrecked himself. <laughs> nice. Well, they're not walking away from that. Oh, shit. Didn't look like it was that bad, but okay. Go on a popping top. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to. Fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. Damn. This I'm out. This one's finished too. Hmm. <sighs> oh Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just uh Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Storm cloud over Chinatown. That one got to Tommy. The Saint and the Sinner. 1932. Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week oh, in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> he survived? Can you point a finger at either of you? I don't know. That's Maybe. wild. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam? Yeah. Man. You're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. Damn. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. <laughs> His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. 
What? Damn. <laughs> if Merle wants to take businesses away from us, he'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, let's go. Damn. All the heavy stuff all of a sudden coming down to, uh... Counselor's son is slain? Oh, God. <laughs> you hear they're burying the Galati kid today? Yeah. They met her bear. Damn. You lose Why? your card game? Something like that. Started getting back up. That's why. I heard about their uh, misfortune, though. We're gonna fix it. A lesson learned, I think, eh? Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. <laughs> Damn. Ah, yes. I had some dynamite in my uh squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today. Jacket. Pick up the knife. What uh what gun do we have? You remember when the Corleon Hotel was a classy joint? place yet gotta hear me out on this it's about the girl Michelle right you don't have to rub her out just make her disappear you know her yeah I'd been with her a few times she's a good egg Tom just maybe not so bright she doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk you think she'll leave Tom when she understands what'll happen otherwise yeah she'll leave here's your hundred Give it to her. Make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, Sam's a nice guy. Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? I like uh, uh, Sam a little bit more than uh, Polly. I told you what I had to ask, and you listen. Gotta leave it there. Okay. Uh oh. What Keep if uh? You get into the hotel. Sam's Find your undercover. Are suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to. Him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. Bloody died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world? Is Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I need to stop skipping. I need to only do the skips when it's just myself just driving. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Damn. <laughs> now we can skip drive to the next next stop.
Nice. Uh, sir, you're, you look awfully suspicious just standing there like that. You behave yourself in here, okay? Always. Hey, handsome. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl I can help you with. Come through. Find the girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink. Relax and enjoy yourself. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Ooh, just ha why don't you buy me a drink? Because you're not the dame I'm after. You know Michelle. I'm new here, baby. I don't know a thing. Ah, okay. I need to speak to Michelle. The only girls available are the girls you can see. Find one you like and don't make a fuss. Hmm. I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. I love how like Tommy like posts up like he literally makes giant fists. <laughs> like this, like I gotta start punching people right now. It's actually kind of funny. The friendship between the Corleone Hotel is here and to the fight. Family will be long and fruitful <laughs> oh kill the manager in the lounge well i'm gonna wait and talk to her first before the children i would dance every day that way hopefully she can get out of here before it starts going down Get a room when you get a guy, not before. Ah, <sighs> fine. You know the rules, Dottie. Hey, why are you crying, Miss? Is Michelle in today? Let me check. <laughs> Damn, he's actually checking. She's in, but she's busy. If you're waiting for Michelle to come down, she ain't gonna. She's got fellows in with her all day long. You looking for a good time? Come this way, sweetie. Nah, I'm looking for a friend. Michelle. Sure you are. Come to my room and tell me all about it. <laughs> I just want to talk. You know, I get to hear that a lot. I bet you're not like all the other guys either, are you? Nah, <laughs> not really. Not like the other guys, you know what I'm saying? Gar, why are you crying? Big baby. Alright, so listen. Tell me where she's at. Where's Michelle? Upstairs in 208. That all you want? That's all I want. <sighs> Wish they were all like you, sweetheart. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Apparently one of these rooms somewhere. Have some uh, interesting stuff going. Yeah, why are you crying? They're all some nice places. You treat women like this? You treat your mother like this? No, please! Huh. Oh. Don't like when it's doled out to you, do you? Yara, please. You're literally fine. You're just laying here. Yeah. What do you doing? Fuck him up, Charlie. Yeah, get him, Charlie. <laughs> How do we? There it is. I'm trying to find the steps. Hey.
Sheesh. Whoa. <laughs> Fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You scared then? Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in a head. Do you understand? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. <laughs> Literally. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. <laughs> nice guy. So kill the manager in the lounge. What happens if we just start kicking down doors? Find out. One of these rooms, I know something. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there was one. Orleans Hotel. I haven't seen anything else show up yet. Wait, there's something in the bathroom over here. <laughs> Aha! Gangsters. Comic violence. Wait, this is the room that the guy was getting beat up at. Hey, Yar, why are you crying? After this mission, I'm gonna take her out or something. Also, maybe I get a snack. Quick snack. Ow, Yar, that was so loud. Yo, Leo Galante. Galante? Is that how you say it? He's from uh, Mafia 2. Good old Leo. Heard the mic peak, literally. Actually hurt. Is 
Ember, where did everyone go? Who's these new guys getting the run of the place? And a manager having to play nice with his new friends. How come? Is when your new friends turn up with Tommy guns? Not with us. That's what you do. Serious trouble? <laughs> what does he know about serious trouble, huh? Just gotta. Hey! <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Go to sleep, sir. It's time, boys. Three, two, one. Trouble now, tough guy. Yara, I'm currently about to be in a strong firefight. Came prepared, boys. Gotcha. Oh, ho, 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 boy. Get up. Nice. It's new binding of Isaac stuff coming out. I got hit pretty badly right there. Steam page just went up. Uh, what is that from? Sounds really familiar. What just happened? Uh, what is this dude? Repentance? Not sure, to be honest. <laughs> Interesting. I'll check it out in a second. Here we go. Here's a. Need one of these. Regen health. Uh, if you regen health, why are there health pickups? I think because. Wait, do you regen health? Like all the way? Then see whether I actually regen or not. Looks like it. I don't know if it does. Can't see the HUD. Oh, true, true. I'm in the way. Oh, uh, no, then I don't think, um, I don't think it does then. Because right there. Let's see. Ooh, ammunition.
Oh, I didn't even realize that thing was there. I could have blew that up. Oh God. Tommy guns. Yara, why? Oh, snap. Huh. He's bleeding out. Come on, I need health. Aha. Not what it looks like. This is what I was looking for. <laughs> You look uh, pretty suspicious there, man. Love how he has a. and documents plant the bomb <laughs> nice. Gunfire and an explosion reported at the Corleone Hotel. If I was him, I would have just been like, whoa, what was that? Oh my god, an explosion just went off from that building. <laughs> Right in the legs. I love the running animations in this game. It, it feels so smooth when you're running around. Oh wait, there's a comic book. This honestly makes me want to play L anymore pretty badly.
It's a long church. No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Genius. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now I believe one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beating. So I don't know how I'm good. What you Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy. Oh God! Please. Damn. An un endless day. <laughs> Now we're killing in church. Oh man. Just making sure he's extra dead. Shreds. Damn. What have you done? Murder in the house of God. These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have yeah. saved just one life? None of us, father. What the f dude? You bastard. This guy cannot die. If you have any confessions to make, I lit him quick. up. No more bloodshed, please. I'm sorry, father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. You thought. That make us even. Sure. For now. For your trouble, father. Damn. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. When the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Damn. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. And where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Go, 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 go. Don't let him out. Get in, boy. Get in the car. 
Sam, what are you doing? Get in the goddamn car. Oh my god. God, we died. We died. He's looking at me like, what? What do you mean? Yeah, I just died. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in, Wait, can we go out a different way? Me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place oh, I almost mi guys. missed this comic. Come on, we gotta go. What if we go out this way? Oh, that takes you upstairs. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let them out. Oh, oh. It hurts. Let's go. Are you kidding? It's got wheels. Oh, they want me to take this. But we got cops got everywhere. Then quick. <laughs> well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive, or we'll end up in the back. Yeah, the suspect's been lost downtown. We'll find him. <laughs> Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything. Yeah, okay, it's okay. Yeah. I'm almost done. Everything. Get up. We go. Officers report they're closing in. I'm working on losing them. The guys got away in North Park. They given up yet? I don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. I'm trying. He's gone. Go back to patrols. Okay. We lost him. Thank Christ. Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. Ah. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut. Don't worry. Morello got a bloody nose. You and Polly are in the clear for whacking the Lottie's son. Boss will be pleased. Hey, Yara. Here we are. Here we go. Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's Made not it anything home. you wouldn't do for me. I know. Safe and sound. But when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's... Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't yeah. think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Chapter complete. The Saint and the Sinner. I see why I was called that now. All right, hold on one second, chat. Um, I'm going to take her out real quick and grab like a quick snack. So I All right. Chat, I am finally back here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and run the uh, next mission. Intermezzo. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ, okay. Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a so church. So it's 38 in this one. I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, and tell you old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? <laughs> Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? 
It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. We I recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need to catch on. <laughs> Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, that was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a dance can sick the attic. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. Little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from Assisi, I had this beautiful. I think they put like all the, <clears throat> all their production like in this greyhound. this cutscene here. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy... ...you could run this town someday. Well... I appreciate that, Frank. So... Uh, ...what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. Damn. Trip to the country. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tom. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back. Eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Get Frank out back. Yeah, sure. Back 
in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, got called out to a hit. Politician on the day. Passed out of sleep. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. OK. Get the car from Ralphie to meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case you're marked for the Don. All right. Drive to Salieri's warehouse. I think I know which mission this is. <laughs> we kept the hearse. Oh wow, we kept the V12 too. Interesting. Front wheel drive. <laughs> I love the skip drive to be honest. It's so nice. Especially if it's like you're just going to some place that doesn't really matter. From now on, if it's just me, I'll skip Come around. On, but if it's um, a mission driving with other people, then I'll hey, hey. I'll wait. Watch it, pal. Just try it out. Sorry. You know this place? Oh uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. Gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. <laughs> Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of stories she could tell about her old man, though. I believe he was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know, she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. That she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. <laughs> <laughs> 